pretty straightforward, isn't it? It's yeah, yeah. No, it's true. We, I'm happy you said that we're task oriented. And I think what that's, I think this is where the, you know, the social condition says, oh, you know, men are simple. We're just simple. We just want this, that, and the third. And women are like, no, they're not simple. We can't understand you. But it's all back down to love language and things like that. Why is sex so important? But from just your, from a clinical point, I want to hear why sex is important in a relationship. And how do couples make it better, especially those who've been in it for a minute, and a minute meaning 10 years or more? How do you make sex better? How do you keep the bedroom bouncing like you lot were in your 20s again? Okay, okay. So why is it, well, first of all, why is it so important? Yeah. Um, I think it's because literally, right, the chemicals that our body releases, there's a, like oxytocin, there's some different chemicals that our body mm-hmm. releases, particularly like, for um, related to orgasm, mm. I think that these chemicals that are released, some of the same chemicals are released for a woman, right? Mm. When she's in childbirth and when she's breastfeeding as well. Mm. So these and and they have one of the things they have is a bonding. They have mm. a bonding um, impact. Some of the, mm. the um, chemicals that's released when a man um, orgasms as well, they bond you to that woman. And this is what they say sometimes porn is harmful. Men that use pornography, mm. masturbate to pornography, they, mm. the, 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 because they're ejaculating, they become um, bound. So it's very, yeah. become, become, although there's no chemicals involved, like heroin or ca- crack or anything. Uh, it's stimulating like the same side of the brain, yeah. Yeah, but the same, yeah, the same dopamines are released. Yeah, so really. it can really be a, a really a strong addiction. And people, some mm. people don't have an addiction, not it's an addiction. Yeah, it's serious yeah. Addiction. Their normal sex the becomes boring to you. You can't, it's yeah. true. I read, I read also a whole documentary on that and I realized, and I didn't know, and I was like, wow, I wish someone told, told everyone of us growing up that don't mess with this and mess with that because it is a mad addiction. Like, and they did so many documentaries on it where men couldn't function in normal setting. You know what I mean? Yeah, or try to yeah, play out yeah. some of the stuff they've seen and it doesn't go down well because that's not what you do <laughs> or that's maybe what yeah. she's into. But you got to find a way to keep your sex life thriving because it's a very important part of intimacy. Bonding, I think it increases on yeah. the bond. we got to see so sex as something bonding, medicinal. Bonding. I look at sex as something yeah, I medicinal. Think, I think it's something spiritual. Yeah. I think, uh, it, I think, for, the, um, for the soul, for the mind, bound, for the body. It binds the two people yeah. together. Like I said, for men, it can regenerate us in a sense where, like, on a spiritual level, like, we can be um, disheveled, like, emotionally, mentally. And this is where I think men and women can be different. Like if a woman's in a bad space emotionally, maybe it will make her unsexy. Whereas a man could be stressed out and suffering and he can actually um, have sex with his, with his wife <laughs> and actually like, you know, it was like morphine or, you know, like, yeah, like he yeah. went for a yeah. counseling session or he took well, more, more than psychotherapy <laughs> and medication and a long That's walk a and a stroll in the park with his, with his lake, all combined times 10. <laughs> If you see the woman that he loves, you get what I'm trying to say to you. It can he literally heal him spiritually, bring nah, help it can, in mental it can health, really and, like give him clarity in life, and you know, like, you know clarity is the word function, actually that yeah. best describes it because so some, some people, people use yeah, physical it's thing and it's nah, just being it's nasty. But, no, with his love with his woman, no, nah, it, it, some spiritual, it's some it's holy. Yeah, no, nah, real, real talk. talk it's, it's holy. It's, it, it is, and obviously we, you know, we're speaking as men that do understand women have a lot to take on and so forth, but. We just want to dispel some of the myths that it's, it's just this pure sexual, disgusting thing that men do. Like, nah, that stimulation creates that bond and that bond gets stronger every time you're intimate. You know what I mean? And if you're constantly intimate, it will keep building a bond on a constant basis. So it makes all the sense in the world. Um, even for, before we leave, actually, I want to even ask something else about what consent, because consent seems to be the hot topic in society. Mm. about consent and mm. i and sometimes i sit with my guys and we talk about it and we start to realize how the culture is now we have to, we're assessing down memory lane and thinking was that consent was, was that because of the social norms changing over time mm. but it's kind of hard to because if you meet someone and you guys feel each other you've gone on dates you've done it the proper way or whatever that is and you decide to get intimate she's willing she, you're willing nobody stops and says you are consenting to, or you're giving me permission. It's in the moment, but I think mm-hmm. it's dangerous because that's not how life works. They have it's some sort of unspoken connection thing. Like you want it, I want it. You're kissing me. It's an unspoken contract, you. man. There's it's an unspoken, unspoken contract, contract in many situations. Yeah, but that unspoken contract contract has got people in sticky situations. You know what I mean? How do we as society? What do you think? Is that something? How do we go around that? 
You know what I mean? I want yeah. the young men them to really get game on that. I've heard Jordan Peterson so talk easy. about this. I've heard Jordan Peterson talk about this, right? And um, it's a really difficult area to um, to navigate because at the end of the day, people have been navigating it for hundreds, if not thousands, not thousands of years, yeah. And um, but it's really recent times, mm. last five years or whatever, and the Me Too and everything like that. And obviously, those things have come out of yeah genuine abuse and genuine yeah. reasons but yeah. i think it's got like a lot of men quite weary yeah because like the historical aspect of things and whatever and if you know like what does consent mean in a sense we're like is it consent yeah. a verbally expressed consent Resting, or is it consent yeah. mean well she was going along with it like i, I didn't know any better yeah. how, how, how it's else so great would I know? And it's so great it's, yeah it's a it's a so it's great. a really um it's a really difficult area. It's, it's, it's really difficult for me to actually answer that in a sense of like, to just it's to be aware. Div- it's, it's, it's ruining, it's, it's controlling, you control a whole population control with that because I don't know if it's appropriate to touch you on that. Sometimes now as a man, you're, we're on the defense. You know what I mean? So you just, man, I'm talking about- Fem- they say Feminism killed chivalry, innit? Feminism killed <laughs> chivalry. Man was like, you want to open the door? Do I, should I pay? Do I, like, you, one thing in black culture, I think that that um, feminism only got so much of a foothold. But um, yeah, you, you you only have to ask if a man should pay in the first day. You find out quick who's really a feminist and who ain't a feminist. <laughs> <laughs> you got these different conversations emerging. Like a woman, a guy takes a girl out on a young lady out on a date, and then she's saying, "Oh, why are you paying? Can you get two boxes for my kids as well? Like, can you get a takeaway?" And he's like, "No, I can't. I, I, no, I can't do that actually." And it's like. Should he, he pay? Shouldn't he? So he loses we know feminism has gone that deep, isn't it? It's not yeah, that deep. Yeah, feminism's got that point. It's, it's, it's gone that deep because I always, I always ask men like, "What's your idea on consent?" Because it's, I still trying to characterize. It's when I talk to younger men as well, and I'm just like, because I'll tell my sisters, for example, "Hey, don't go strolling like my actual biological sisters." I'm like, listen, because of social conditioning, don't do certain things. Help you help yourself by not placing yourself in compromised position. Example, there's no reason to link a man at 1 a.m. in the morning. There is actually no logical reason to go link a man. Because if we're talking about sitting down, spending time, these are unsociable hours, number one. So if he doesn't say or not, the only thing sociable that can happen at those hours is sex. That's from a social conditional point. So don't do that. It's the same way as, you know, in any other scenarios, like, look, if you know in this area, they're harassing black, young black boys constantly. Bro, carry yourself in a different way. I know it's not the ideal, but who wants to deal with that? So, but for women, I guess they may look at it as a different point, but it's, what's your thoughts on it anyway? That's, no, that's I think when you, 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 in terms of, if you're talking about giving advice hmm. from a woman's point of view, I think that's spot on because I don't think, that people should say a man should know and a man should know. No, you have to take it like your prime, my primary responsibility is to take care of myself, isn't it? Mm. So I don't care if I've got a right to wear white gold down the road at two o'clock in the morning, but I ain't really going to walk through certain areas Mm. Mm. with a Rolex on Mm. because Mm. of risk. Mm. Not because Mm. I don't have the right to, but because of the potential risk. So I think that women should always... Put themselves in the in the in the best situation in terms of protecting themselves. I think that um, I think that's essential. But also, in terms of what I teach, one of the mm-hmm. courses, um, one of the modules that I teach is funny enough is respect for women because we, mm. we definitely recognize it is a lack with all the art and the, the there is a lack. Um, you know, like this Nicki, not Nicki Minaj, or you know, it's gush gush and whop and all, uh, whop, but all this kind of culture, <laughs> this whole culture of it, yeah, it's hypersexualized culture, now. In, yeah, it's distorting young women's views of, of, of young women. Mm-hmm. And I'll be after teaching some of my young scholars, as I call them, like about your integrity towards a woman is based on your integrity to yourself, mm. not based on, yeah, but look, look what they do. Don't know, it's based on you as a man, it's, and your your, it's, it's about not, your principles, not about yeah. what they're doing. Yeah, you know I mean, she's still a woman at the end of the day. So she's whether still a female, she's, she's still a woman, so you just you, you yeah, have whether she's permissive or not, your, you know what I'm saying? Your on integrity, your integrity, your integrity not yeah. what you're seeing, because yeah. then and you're part, allowing something. Part of that share. respect will be, you know, like getting into issues um, in terms yeah. of consent. because you could get jammed up for these young men. You could get jammed up by, you know, she playing games with it, you playing games with it, or when they love to get drunk, 
you know, they always have to get lit and do all this stuff. And then she wakes up and it's a problem or, or yeah, whatever the case may yeah. be. So I'm trying to protect the young kings out there. I'm like, hey, what is consent? How does one navigate just being an uh, elder gentleman, a more wise one? How do they navigate that? Because it could be a scary thing. Because I'm trying to think if I'm 18 in 2021, like I'll be scared to death I'm scared about every, the world yeah, has never yeah, been so yeah. scary <laughs> for a, a, a young man. Like, let's be honest, women, I'm not trying to say we have the biggest problem. No, but you have to understand the lessons I have to give my son, my son's turning night, the lessons I have to give him is a whole course on interactions with females. For him to understand like that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you cannot because the, that, the accusation alone, forget if you did it or not, that's irrelevant. The accusation can ruin you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The accusation, I've seen it before he's even gone to court, before they've proven a damn thing, an accusation can take a man's life. Damage a man's life. Down. Yeah, damage a man's life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm thinking as a young man, black, white, Asian, it's a wild world. Like, for men, it's the scariest time. At 18 years old now, I don't even know how to approach That's, my, that's one of my writing. principles about, um, I, I was raised, like, given an awareness at a certain age about even being alone with women, like, mm. just being your own with women in general. Not because you don't trust yourself, but about your reputation. So nobody can't even, nobody can't even make a mistake. Yeah. Say, oh, what were they? You know, like, they, they can't even insinuate something because, no, I was, we was in the office, we was working, but yeah, the office door was wide open or, do you know what I'm saying? Very... <laughs> Funny about things like that as you get older. Um, but I was taught from a young age about that. Because nah, man, them now, I'm like, keep the door open, fam. <laughs> I'm telling young man, hey, keep the door open. You get what I'm trying to do? Yeah. Yeah. Keep the to door you. open at yeah. all times, yeah? Keep your hands to yourself. Talk in a non-threatening, because it's all perception and different It's very, yeah, it's very nature. difficult. You talk about, I mean, I don't want to sound like the good old days, because the, the, the old days was bad and the old days was good. You know, we are where we are, but yo, yo, I just yo. know that being, a, when I was a teenager, cause you said 18, I was like, I look, get like a flashback. I was like, it was a bit different in the sense where we used to have this thing where you asked a girl out. Yeah. You know, and asked her out didn't mean specifically to an event, but mean like, will you go out with me? Would you, Don't yeah. mean where, if you want to ask you where do you mean? She means, <laughs> she will say yes, or no, oh, I'm gonna think maybe. about it. And she might phone you later and go, yeah, yeah, I'll go out with you. And that now means that's my girlfriend. Girlfriend, yeah, it's simpler. Right, it's clear. It's not like we kind of did a thing and something happened and then kind of, you're all right with that, you're cool with that. What, are you gonna try to phone <laughs> me tomorrow? No vagueness. She is now that my guy's girl. girlfriend. And then they work it out. Do you know what I mean? As, as a couple, they go on and, you know, things happen or whatever, like, but it's kind of a different era where nah, it is. people are swapping left and swiping right. It's where are you? Where? Left, right? And then me and Netflix right. and chill and they kind of do it. That mechanism is crazy. Yeah. That mechanism is crazy. Is that program that comes on TV where, where the people pick somebody naked and then they go on and they put their clothes and then go on a date, like back to front? I forgot what they call it. it back to front. Ah, I saw an advert for it all oh, my days. I was like, and it's, we're seeing more on TV, you know? Have you noticed? We've seen more relationship things where they, they love at first sight and all these non-conventional, I don't yes. know this person, or yeah. without seeing each other, can, can true love exist? We've come to become obsessed with this human connection because I feel like we know deep down we're losing it. We're losing a lot of the human mm -hmm. connection. So mm -hmm. that's why mm -hmm. we're reaching for, minus physically what I can see, can I fall in love with just your personality? And then if I see you, can it all go on? Do you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Which yeah, I always yeah. think is, is, is a, it's a tricky it's game. It's like you mentioned one. about the relationship skills. When you, got, when you said earlier, I was thinking, when you said somebody's in a relationship or married or whatever for 15 years, yeah. do you think you could just come out and be like dating and socially, you know, Bruh. like have those skills? <laughs> it's not it's not easy, isn't it? It's not easy. It's not I'm, easy. I'm well. like, how are you going to do that? Because I'm like, I've been in my relationship for a decade and I'm like, I don't even know what to say to you. Like, I'm so used to being myself around a female. Yeah, I wouldn't even know yeah. what to say to you. I'm so me. You might meet the worst of me in that day. I wouldn't even know how to because it's not the same. Things have changed. People are speaking different. You know what I mean? When you're with someone for so long, you have to understand it's like you've come off one stream of consciousness into another. You're and now one with that you, person now. And you're one you, with that person. You don't know other people like you don't know other people like that. You don't know other women like that. Everyone that, else are just passing bodies. They're just people in it. And until yeah, we yeah. tap one of them, then we can talk and adjust. And, and we interact from just an energy perspective. So it's quite interesting how we've come, come a long way as human beings, but we're all reaching out. But Hugh, how can people get in touch with you and take some of your practice? And how can they really benefit from what you've got going on? Because that's very important. Okay, so yeah, I mean, 
my contact details, uh, they can get me on, on an email, send me an email at emotionalinsight at hotmail.co.uk or um, call me on 0203-701-2265. I've got, as I said, private practice where I see individuals, not only for relationship issues, but relationships is one of my specialities. Mm-hmm. Um, but individual counseling, or sometimes I see people who are going through relational issues, but I see them as individuals. Mm-hmm because they need to go for their own process. They need to feel in a safe environment where they can express mm. themselves. And maybe at that moment in time, the relationship is so heightened and tense that it will only, um, you know, kind of be a bit more conflict. So they need someone to kind of like think think outside of the box and away from, from the conflict zone. So yeah, so I offer counseling or coaching. And um, yeah, there's going to be big things this year. There's going to be some yeah. big yeah. things on this YouTube. year. YouTube. What's the YouTube channel? Yeah. You got one? Yeah, so, um, yeah, the YouTube channel is Emotional Insight TV. And the, the main podcast is It Takes Two. So if you put It Takes Two and you put even my name in that, Hugh Mayers, it will come up. And there's, there's a few uh, few hot episodes there already. already I was watching a, I was watching one. I think it was filming the speaker. You're coming through speakers or something like that. Was there, I think you've posted that one. Um, and I think it was an audio. I don't think it was a video of you or someone. I think some of you just filmed. Oh, it. that might be when some stuff I did with Lady Essie and um, yeah. DJ Supreme. That was DJ very, Supreme. that was very yeah, insightful. Yeah, yeah. That was very interesting. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people understand you don't, you, you know, counseling. When you hear the word counseling therapy, don't think you have to be broke to go get fixed. No. Sometimes it's also maintenance. Sometimes it's an upgrade. Sometimes if you're committed to your relationship, you go get these assistance because you want to just be better in that area maybe she's told you that you know you don't spend enough time and you're just like wow how do i get this done because i seem to overwork and do the dirt like this. But sometimes you know from a culture standpoint we think it has to be broken and then i go see somebody no sometimes you check in just to make sure everything is a-okay do you know what i'm saying and get those right tips and directions and i will be posting the detail, details below hugh i appreciate you again king thank you for sliding through Thank honest, you for man, your honest, wisdom, honest, man. Honest, I, I, it, it was such a big... I was looking for this all week when I had notes. I told the man, and I said, listen, this podcast here, when you look to have it first exclusively, and then we're going to make notes because we have, then when we see each other next, I want us to understand certain things. So it's dope as well. And I want to encourage men to do more of that. Man, they need to kick up like the olden days, like how our forefathers did it. We came together, sat around the fire. All right, family, what's your issue? You vent your thing, speak your truth. All right, man, what's your issue? And then... We, we reason you get me that's what man was supposed to do reason sit together and sometimes it's not even in your circle i brought it up i made it a thing where you lick up at a studio and we just chill i made it a thing you know what i mean because i know mm-hmm. we're older now and we can use each other's wisdom a little bit just to help navigate because mm-hmm. we're, we're, the power we're of the circle you know the power, the power of the, the circle, circle mm-hmm. to go there and sit down and reason man and vent, vent, vent. man and listen to you vent your thing and then get it off your chest then when you ask us okay was i wrong We'll tell you in a heartbeat, no nah, or yes, or if it depends, we bust it down until you understand it. So when you go back home now, your man of reason with you. So you can kind of understand why Mrs. is not feeling you right now. You know what I mean? Sometimes we tell it, we tell our man them like fam, that's a begging thing. If you got peas, listen, we put five pound there. Buy her flowers because bro, we're not gonna see you for months. You're gonna be grounded. Yeah, <laughs> and we have to and we have to keep this thing rolling because we need this. So <laughs> go buy, go get the wine or whatever she likes, whatever acts of service she likes. Go ahead and do it and fix it because we need each other. That's just the real subject. We need each other. A lot of us didn't grow up with the best relationships with our fathers. So we we need we lean on each other. So we say, okay, cool. Reason. So I do want to encourage more people to do things like that or mm-hmm. go get a coach to coach you to get better at whatever aspect because you know this is somebody you love and you know it makes sense to do the, present the best version of yourself at all times so Hugh peace love and light brother I will put your links at the bottom and um, I'm looking forward to kicking it again man yeah well I, I, I'll drop by or maybe I have to get you to come over to my um, drop by my studio wow, let me <laughs> know let, let I know me you've got know. some serious nutritional stuff that ah, let me need know to hear it. the people need <laughs> to hear it so I'll be in touch man I'll be in touch family alright then peace love and light everyone peace, peace you